Hello friends, welcome to my very first full length YouTube video. We are making birria from beef short ribs and chuck roast. To start off, we're getting our dried chiles, which are chile guajillo, chile ancho, chile puya, and chiles de arbol if you want it spicy. You can leave those out if you don't want it spicy. Full list of ingredients with measurements will be in the description below, but you want to make sure that you take out all of the woody stems, open them up, and shake out all of those seeds. If you want to take extra precaution, you can put on some gloves while you're doing this so that you won't get any spice all over your hands, fingers, etc. For the beef, I'm using a combination of beef short ribs and beef chuck roast. It's almost about 10 pounds combined. Depending on the size of your pot or your instant pot, you might need to do this in batches. For the instant pot, it only takes about an hour to cook on high pressure. To speed up the process even just a little bit, we're going to cut the chuck roast into smaller pieces about 3 to 4 inches big. Once your chuck roast is cut up into smaller pieces, we're going to salt and pepper both sides of the beef heavily. We have to season every single layer of our birria. Once your beef is salted and peppered on both sides, we're going to get our instant pot or your Dutch oven or any big pot that you're using to cook your birria. To officially start cooking our birria, we're going to set our instant pot to the sear function and add a little bit of oil to the bottom of it. We're going to add in the short ribs first. We're going to sear them on both sides. The searing of the beef is just going to create another layer of flavor. All those brown bits are going to be delicious for our consomme. Now the searing isn't obviously going to cook the entire meat, it's just getting that color. We're only doing about three to four minutes per side on both the short ribs and the beef chuck roast. Once you finish searing the beef short ribs, we're going to sear up the beef chuck roast. Got it nice and brown on both sides, then we're going to add in all of the short ribs and the beef chuck roast back to the instant pot. Along with the beef to the instant pot, we're going to add in all of the extra flavoring to the beef, which is a combination of white onion, a whole bunch of garlic, some bay leaves, as well as some ginger. Sometimes people like to add cinnamon. I tried it with cinnamon once and I did not like it. All I could smell was cinnamon. I just wasn't a fan of it, but you can do it if you want. Next comes the best part. All of those dried chiles, the chile guajillo, the chile ancho, the chile puya, and the chile de arbol. The chile puya is really what gives it that reddish color along with the chile guajillo. Once your dry chiles are in, we're going to add in a couple of cups of water. I think I used around five or six cups. Just make sure not to overfill your instant pot. Mix it in. Make sure the peppers are fully submerged in that liquid before covering the instant pot with the instant pot lid. And hear me out. If you're scared of using an instant pot to cook, I was in the same boat. Now that I've used it once, I love it. It's super easy. Once you're ready to start cooking the birria, we're going to set it to one hour on high pressure. You're going to cover it with the lid and you forget it. And it'll be ready in one hour. Almost an hour. It cooks for specifically one hour. Once the time is off, I let it sit in there for at least 30 minutes. Then we're going to release 
the pressure. This part is a little scary, but get a kitchen towel, put it on top of the valve, release the pressure. All the steam is going to come out. Once the steam is done coming out, we're ready to open up our pot of gold. It just smells delicious the second you open it up. It looks beautiful. And now to make the delicious birria red sauce that it's going to get all combined with that beef broth that we made with all the beef in there. We're going to take out all of the dried peppers, the onion, the garlic, add all of that to your blender. Most of the garlic actually disintegrates and like just becomes part of the sauce. So don't worry about that. So take out all of the peppers, all of the onion, and the ginger and the bay leaves. We're gonna set those aside. We don't wanna blend them up. They can be a little tough and we already got all of their flavor. And to our blender, we're gonna add about two cups of that beef cooking liquid from the Instant Pot just to help us bring it all together and not mess up our blender. To that delicious sauce that we're gonna make in our blender, we're gonna add in some more spices in the form of cumin, Mexican oregano, peppercorns, and a couple of cloves along with two tomatoes chopped and a good pinch of kosher salt. Once everything is in your blender, we're gonna blend it up until it becomes nice and smooth. It takes around 30 seconds, maybe longer if you don't have a Vitamix. Set the sauce aside. We're gonna take out the beef from the Instant Pot to shred it up. This is the easiest thing ever because the beef is so tender, it's already falling apart. I didn't even need a fork, a knife, anything, like picking it up with the tongs, it was already into pieces, shreds, whatever you call it. I mean, come on, look at how tender it is, like it falls apart with the touch of a finger. At this point from the beef broth, you can skim out some of the fat, but this is what we're gonna use to cook up our birria quesa tacos. So if you take some out, leave some in there because we're gonna need it. Then we're gonna add the pureed peppers back into the consomme. Once you add in the pureed peppers into the remaining beef broth, we're gonna add in the birria back into that consomme to get it all nice and saucy and flavored up with all of those ground up chilies. And this is the point when I realized that I was supposed to add in some vinegar to the peppers when I blended them up, so I just added them here, mixed in the vinegar, so no big deal. It happens, we forget steps, we fix it. And now for the best part, it's making our quesa birria tacos. Get your corn tortillas, dip them into that consomme with all of that delicious fat. Get your comal, place the tortillas on the comal. Cook them up for about 30, to sec 30 seconds to 45 seconds per side. Flip them over, get some cheese. I'm using shredded queso chihuahua. You can also use shredded mozzarella. Any good melting cheese will work. Sprinkle it onto the bottom of your tortilla, then get some birria on there. You don't need a lot or else it's going to be impossible to close it because after we add the birria, we're gonna add in some cilantro, some cebolla, and to seal it off, more cheese on top. Once the beef, the onion, the cilantro, the cheese is all on there, we're gonna close up our tacos, fold them in half, flip them over again to get them nice and crispy on the other side. Once your quesa birria tacos are ready, we're gonna serve up some consomme, add some salsa to it. We want it a little bit spicy, some cilantro, some cebolla, and I'm Mexican. I love a ton of lime juice in there. If you don't like lime juice, don't add the lime juice. 
whenever I'm eating birria, I don't know what my favorite part is. It's either the consomme or that delicious cheese and beef birria mixture. We're gonna add in some more cilantro, more onion, dip that delicious taco into that consomme for maximum flavor. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, any comments, any tips for making more YouTube videos, please drop a comment, message me, and please subscribe. I love making videos. This was my very first one, as I said so in the beginning. This was definitely a learning experience, and I can't wait to keep on working on making these YouTube videos a whole lot better. Oh,